In this video, I'm gonna take you guys through the process of decluttering and updating my work from home office and desk setup. I'm going to turn it into a minimal and clean aesthetic that's perfect for working and filming in during the day and at night. If you're anything like me, your current space probably looks a little bit like this. I have a tendency to be cheap and a little bit of a penny pincher, so I have a habit of letting my space turn into a hodgepodge of whatever I grew up with. It has always frustrated me that being cheap would actually end up wasting a lot more of my time and money. So today, we're changing all of that. First things first, I needed to come up with a plan. I went to Pinterest and started researching what I wanted my space to end up looking like. My goal is to create a clean and minimal space that's perfect for working and filming in. But also the space I'm currently in is a temporary space while I'm in the process of moving. So I can't do anything too drastic like paint wall colors and drill into the walls. All the improvements I plan on making have to be apartment friendly basically. Once I got the plan ready, it's time to declutter. Because we're in the middle of a move, I kind of let my space get really cluttered very quickly. Partly because there's no real home for any of my things. I don't have a space for anything because when we started living here, I never designated a place to put my mail and my documents. So it's just kind of all over the place. Tell me you're old without telling me you're old. When you have stacks of mail laying on your desk that you've procrastinated dealing with is the definition of being an adult. I am constantly tripping over camera equipment on the floor because they just don't have a home yet. And no normal person needs 20 pens on their desk. I've also accumulated way too many electronics for this space. I recently got myself a new M1 Max MacBook Pro for editing. My old computer was wheezing and crashing and dying because it just could not function anymore. I used it through the two years of editing. I used it through art school. I used it through my entire animation career. It does not want to live anymore. But ever since I got my new laptop, the computer has just kind of been sitting there not being used. So I wiped it and gave it to Vincent to use for his music production. Anything I don't use on a daily basis was either put away or sold. Now that everything is clean, I have a blank canvas to start with. I kind of have to work around this desk because this came with the space. It's basically just a large dining table on top of two cabinets. Not exactly the most aesthetic piece of furniture, but you gotta work with what you have. First, I have to set up my laptop. In order to have good posture, I like to have it on a laptop stand. I really like this adjustable one that I got off of Amazon. It's really sturdy, unlike a lot of the other laptop stands I've tried before. Since I do a lot of editing, I like using the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. I'm pretty prone to carpal tunnel. That's what art school actually gave me. Thousands of dollars of debt and carpal tunnel. So I'm super sensitive to any kind of workplace injury. I recently started getting a little bit of hand pain because of all the hours spent editing. So I switched over to this mouse. The minute I started using this mouse, my hand pain completely went away and it's cut my editing time in half because of the programmable buttons on the side. The points of contact between my hand and the desk can also cause carpal tunnel and tendonitis. So I added a cozy little desk pad underneath everything. I chose a bright white to lighten up the space and make it so I can work in the space for hours on end because it's just so enjoyable and cozy. Next to my laptop is my Cintiq 22 HD. I use it for drawing, creating merch designs, and editing photos. I have it on an adjustable monitor arm to make it so I can push it away whenever I don't need to use it. For my chair, it's a little unconventional, but I like using a drafting chair because it's extra tall. I'm very short, so I don't really like those expensive office chairs because it's way too short for me. I can't really see anything properly. I need to be seated a little bit higher. I also like it a lot because it doesn't have any armrest. Armrest can actually cause tendonitis for me if I'm leaning my elbow on it while I draw or edit or type or whatever. So I don't like having that and it kind of gets in the way anyways. Because it's so tall, I can sit up higher and look down at my Cintiq so that my drawings don't end up skewing, which can be a really big problem for artists. Now it's time to install the lighting. Lighting is the single most important part of making your space feel cozy and lived in and it's the most important part of filming. Without good light, it doesn't matter how nice of a camera you have, your photos and your space is just not going to look great. Especially in a small space, LED color changing lights can really add depth to your videos and photographs. First, I added practical lights. I really like practical lights because they are both functional and they look beautiful on camera. They're not just decorative for the sake of being decorative. I really don't like single use things, especially useless things like decorations. Maybe that's just me. I love these lights so much because all you have to do to dim it is to touch it and then it has three different settings. It also has USB ports to charge your phone or any other kind of device. I added some Philip Hue light strips to the sides of the table to add more ambient light. I also added some Philip Hue color changing light bulbs to some lamps for some more color changes. Once they're set up, it's super easy to change the color of the lights. You can set different scenes and different effects. I love them so much. I think it adds a lot to the space 
days, especially at night. In order to achieve that clean and minimal, tidy look, cable management is a must. It probably is very OCD, but you just have to pay attention to these little details if you want that super clean, minimal look. I'm using Velcro ties and command hooks to keep them tucked away behind the cabinet so they won't be seen. And they're all connected to one main power strip that's hidden behind the cabinets. I discreetly added a second power strip to the side of the table because I found I need access to power on a daily basis. I just don't want to go under the table trying to find the other power strip every single time, creating a mess, which is why all my camera equipment just ends up on the floor. So keeping it here makes it really easy to access. For cables that I use every single day, I keep them attached to cable clips so that they're easily in reach and I don't have to go searching for them every single time I need them. Next, I'm mounting pen boards onto the walls using command strips. I wanted to keep as much stuff off of my table as possible to get that clean, minimal look. So I'm using IKEA modular pegboards that are easy to customize customize for your own personal needs. I'm attaching them with command strips so I don't have to drill into the walls. This makes use of the vertical space so I don't have to have so much clutter on my desk. Taking advantage of the vertical space was necessary for such a small, cramped living situation. This is where I'm putting all my little knickknacks like pens, hard drives, and cords. Anything that I need to reach daily, but I don't want them cluttering my space. While I want my space to be really minimal and clean, I don't want it to be boring because it also doubles as a filming set. So I am repurposing my monitor stand as a little shelf. I'm putting some of my favorite plants on it because plants really help liven up the space, make it feel more inviting and nice to breathe and work in. Most people often forget about how important smell is to a space. Not only does it help make a space smell nice, it also helps you focus. I used to think candles were pointless. I thought they were for my grandmother. I thought only old ladies like candles. And call me an old lady, but I have discovered why why candles are amazing. I really like Lulu candles from Amazon because they are slow burning and they last a really long time, like 30 hours plus. I also like their fresh smelling scents, like fresh linen, because it just smells clean. It doesn't smell too overpowering and floral, like a grandmother. Ever since I tried these out, I realized how well they help you focus. I don't know why, I don't know what it does, it like hypnotizes me or something, but if I needed to pull an all-nighter, I just light those candles and I can work through the night. To decorate the space a little bit more, I'm adding my vintage cameras because they look nice. They make for really nice film prop set things. And I really love this teal clock that I bought mostly for a prop, but it's so nice and aesthetic, so I'm adding it to the side. For my larger camera equipment like gimbals that I don't necessarily use on a daily basis, I put them on top of the wardrobe, out of the way so I'm not constantly tripping on it. And this is my new home office. I love my space so much. Ever since since I decluttered and updated the space, it's really made a huge difference on my productivity, my focus, and my creativity. Because it's so minimal, it's been really easy to keep the space clean and clutter-free. I just spend a few minutes at the end of my workday and clean up and put everything in its home. I'm so happy I decided to update the space and really turn it into my space because I wake up in the morning and I get really excited to work. Everything that I use in this video will be linked in the description box down below in case you want to pick up anything for yourself. To increase your productivity even more, check out this video next to see how much your life can improve just by simply waking up early.